Oh dear, I may have forgotten that we were currently in the process of having someone being eaten alive by a carnivorous plant here in our Amazon challenge, but sure enough, here is the not-so-great evidence right before us. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amazon challenge here in the jungles where our Chai Li tribe has been struggling mightily for survival for quite some time now. I have to admit I am absolutely stunned that they have managed to make it so long and a little bit doubtful about how much longer they can go. We do have one of our elder females having finally passed away, unfortunately just as her daughter was snatched up by one of the carnivorous plants that hide within the jungle grasses so oh no so our poor little one Cola is actually stuck inside of this plant and she can't get out and her brother Nukir is trying to save her life but he's currently smelly and bleeding to death as a gigantic ape lurks right in the edges with this big old huge nose there's a bunny just like scurrying away from us Oh, down here we have a little Zenka searching frantically along the edges for a Nox who I think has just passed away. In fact, I'm pretty sure if we check the family tree, Nox has indeed, unfortunately, just passed away. And Zenka is searching so that she can try to find a mate in order to pass on her unique skills and her survival. She does have a son, Zirnu, who she just gave birth to, the only surviving child of Noxes. And I think Zirnu's might not be surviving for much longer at this rate actually i'm a little bit concerned the good news is however that we did manage to find a royal consort last time more on the royal consort idea in just a little bit but it seems that kuta's appearance may turn the tide for our amazon challenge and allow us to survive thanks to queen mirla who has managed to take status as queen now that she has a consort and you know the fact that she's one of the few left standing and alive. There's only like two females now, three if you count the one that's about to die because she's being eaten by a plant. And it's been a wild ride to get here, guys. And yes, just to address really quickly, the Amazon challenge definitely didn't go where I thought it would. It turned out to be a lot more difficult, at least on this island, as many of you guys noticed, to be able to keep our males going. And actually, a lot of you pointed out that probably the reason all of our males kept drowning themselves because the AI is currently written that way, for one thing, uh, which is probably something that's going to be fixed in future updates. By the way, the updates for niche probably won't be for a couple more weeks at least. The epigenics update has been scrapped and they're going to be working on something fresh so keep your eyes peeled then we'll probably be trying a new tribe out then if the Tylees manage to survive that long but we'll have to see but the reason that all of our males were probably drowning themselves when we banished them was because we chose this point to do so. They were not teleporting themselves to a new island like some people theorized. They were just jumping into the water because they would just head off and go search for things. And the fish do count as a food source, so they would try to chase the fish to eat them like they chase the rabbits and other things like that, uh, but they can't do it. And so they would drown. So that's probably what happened. So ironically, this platform, if we had just banished a lot of our boys maybe over here like under one of the big trees we probably wouldn't have ended up losing so many of them and our tribe would have been a lot better off so in the future when we release our young males to fight in the jungle the way that they do sort of like independent lion cubs growing into strong independent bachelor lions we won't do it right on the edge of an island because that's a very bad spot and we'll probably send them into their death in the water so thank you guys for pointing that out um and then just really quickly before we move on and see what the queen is going to have next is her next beautiful, amazingly colored child. I agree with many of you who have pointed out that the Amazon challenge isn't quite an Amazon challenge if we're going to have a royal consort for the queen. Um, and I had to make it a lot less aggressive of a challenge than I was originally planning with the Amazon challenge because we have a very diverse audience, including some younger members for whom like enslaving half of the tribe based on who's the boys who's the girls is probably not setting the best examples nor setting the best story tone so that's why we went where we went um and we're just going to continue on from here not really an amazon challenge anymore but a pretty exciting challenge nonetheless and we'll address the issue of the with the amazons actually inside of a jungle and why did we call it the amazon jungle challenge 
another day. For now, let's go ahead and move on, and we're going to let Queen Mirla go ahead and give birth, and we're going to let the royal consort be the only male who, uh, she's the only one who can breed with this particular male. He is the royal consort, and he can do whatever he wants within the area. He's very pampered. If he wants to choose to live a life of leisure and never lift a paw, he can do so, unless his queen demands otherwise, but he gets to stick around and just kind of be um, informally uh, in charge, informally the king. He doesn't really have any authority except through the queen, but he can kind of help out if he chooses to, or he can not help out, just not do anything if he chooses to. Uh, but I think that Kuta here sees potential in reviving the tribe, since there's pretty much no one else. So he's going to be a smart consort, and he is going to hopefully help us rebuild the tribe from here, and pass the reins down to their daughter Fusu, who's an amazing neon green, by the way, and we might even keep little Rufus, their son, though we might have to release him so that we can try to breed with him in the future, because I'm desperate for surviving males, too. Alright, Queen, let's go ahead and see what you and your consort's next child shall be. Is it a girl? It's a boy! It is a purple boy, no less. This is so cool. Look at his markings. Isn't that the most awesome thing ever? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to scooch the queen. Uh, let's see. Rufus is old enough to start scooching around. Does he have any collecting ability? He kind of does, but I might need to release him in the jungle if we want to breed with him in the future. Choices, choices. Let's have Fusu scooch up here. The queen is going to jump over here and then come on. Oh no. Come on. All right, there we go. And now they have had a successful uh, opportunity to mate. And how am I going to release Rufus? We already have one male because I want I want Rufus's genes, which means we don't want to keep him as one of our um, servants. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Nukir! <laughs> oh, why does this big nose ape have to be here? Okay, well, plus side, Nukir can grab the healing plant. And make a run for it and we'll see what we can do and maybe okay and let's see a little kirnu do i want your jeans i do want your jeans as well so i think we're gonna make a new spot to release the males i do want to kind of move off this island actually <laughs> so we may release the males but i think we're actually gonna move from this island to another jungle island or maybe to the grass island i think we have to stick mostly to jungle islands oh we came on this one so which one would we leave on like this one? I think we would die. One, two, three, four, five. But I would like to travel to a new island, actually. We've almost fully explored this land. This is all regrowing grass. Can't take this grass apart. I think what we'll do is as soon as we fully explore this land, we'll leave the island. So that may be a task that we will assign to... Let's see, little Rufus, why don't you come over here and kind of clear this away? We won't count the regrowing grass to clear away. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that. Ah, and then Kuta has found some food. He is a very useful, very, very useful consort for sure. So I think maybe rumors of the big nose ape being even more terrible than the big eared ape will chase the tribe away. And we'll send them maybe over here first, because I think that they would die for sure if I sent them over to this island. But I really like the idea of them trying to survive in jungles. Conflicted? I think this will actually lead us to a jungle though, so we'll have to see. This one for sure would, but it would be a jungle of immediate death. So <laughs> trying, trying to give them the opportunities I can at least. All right, let's see. So, Zenka, if we're going to release the males, do I want to do that? How many can we send? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can send 10 creatures. I think maybe leaving the island very soon would be a smart move. But I probably need to release Rufus. And if we're going to release them... But not near the edge, past the Trail of Trials, as we always have. Maybe over here? Or maybe, oh, I know, let's release them over under this tree, right kind of over here, because it's close to the new place of discovery. So it's a, a sign of sending your young, young lions who are naturally prone to wandering on their own and battling the unknown so they can come back stronger and wiser to the tribe uh, as potential mates. Uh, we'll, we'll release them near the, the path that we're about to start exploring. That makes a lot of sense to me. 
All right, so what are we going to do with you, little Kimu? Well, we'll start moving him kind of over in that direction, hopefully not to get eaten by all of the wild plants, and we'll move Zenka up there as well. And Nukir is one of our collecting males, so if he can survive long enough, do I want to release him, actually? I mean, we could, we could have him be a collecting male to help us gather food, but I might release him, actually, huh? Man, why do I have to make it harder on myself? Like I said, this is very much an experimental challenge and hopefully in my experiments will help you guys figure out what to do with your future challenges as well. All right, we have another young boy. So we have two little boys I actually need to name really quickly. And they're really cool because look at them. They are bright purple. So we're going to name one Meteor and Vinter. So Meteor and Vinter are their names. So this will be Vinter, I think. There we go. And this will be Meteor. Both given names chosen by you guys left in the comments below. I need to collect up more names soon, so I'll have to go through and do another collection. You'll probably see a whole bunch of new names suddenly start showing up. Big Nosed Ape is still chasing us. Okay, we can cope with this. We're going to send Nuke here running this direction now. And then we're going to go ahead and have Zenka join him. I think Zenka would kind of like try to like guide her son carefully as well so that he doesn't get eaten before we can we can send him safely on his way for adventure. All right. And then speaking of adventure, we'll start sending little Rufus that direction too. And his father is going to be diligent at gathering up berries. Can Vinter gather up berries? Vinter might be able to as well. So Kuta is kind of watching over the, the children, knowing that they need to get ready to leave. And the queen, I'll scooch over here. Dang it. All right, I'm going to have to scooch her over here and leave one of their boys unsupervised. Fushu, keep an eye on your brother because she's the only female. Fushu, I really need you to like survive, please. I do want to leave the island. I think we might give this tribe a chance to leave the island and work their way to another jungle area. All right, please don't eat my baby bird. All right, didn't eat my baby, thank goodness. Oh, and we had another baby. Why are they all boys? <laughs> we need something other than boys, please. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, so, oh no, and this little guy's sick. Do you guys have matching immunity genes? They don't. The baby is just sick for some reason. That's unexpected. Well, we need to be careful because if he has a common cold, oh no, oh no, I think we might have to banish this baby. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm beginning to realize, too, is that we can't really afford, especially with the amount of food we have, to keep the, the more sickly creatures around. Um, so I wonder if I wonder if Kuta will actually be the one to release them. Hmm. I've made too many rules for myself once again. All right, Nuke here. Yeah, I think that they can leave once they fully explore the island. Nuke here, let's see if we can find you something to heal with. Zenka, no! Oh, she's been terribly hurt. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if I can get her son down here as well. He needs to get away from the ape, though. Oh no, Kirnu, no! The last remaining child of Nox. <laughs> what am I going to do? Should I just have them all leave? There's literally going to be two females again. If we had just had a consort from the beginning, should I keep one of the males? I mean, let's see... Who might be a Vinthar? Who's, who's super useful at gathering and things like that? Any of the boys? Let's see. Oh, little Kirvan here. But he's the one with the common cold for some reason. I wonder why he's sick. We might send him down. <gasps> we'll send him down to get some food. All right. And he might join us as one of our servants. So we're going to name him. We're going to go with Yuri. There we go. Only you guys spelled it like this this time. And we'll, we'll heal him, actually. I think that Kuta may have been willing to be strict enough. He may have sadly gone, I suppose I need to chase this one into the jungles. He understands the law of the jungle, after all. But uh, I wonder if then they thought, oh, wait, we can we have a healing fruit that Queen Mirla knows of because her family has used these healing fruits before, too. And they, there's a whole little field of them down here. All right, so we'll send them down there. Hmm, and I'm really going to need to find traction for figuring out what to do for this challenge <laughs> because we're about to die off and I think it's entirely because of the way we were releasing the males. If we had just released the males early on but not at the edge of the water, I think we'd be in a totally new place. So I'm going to remember that. And I feel like the queen wants to leave this island. In fact, I wonder, you know what? 
I don't think we're going to release any of her children here. I think that we're going to just leave to the new island. I think that's what the queen wants to do with all of them. So let's go ahead and scooch this little guy. Come here, meteor. Let's try to keep you somewhat safe. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that the queen understands that her sons need to uh, leave to go to a new land. Like I said, the young lion sort of thing where they need to head off to become strong in other places. But she also realizes her daughter needs to have opportunities to find a mate of her own. So it's time to start scooching this way. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start heading out. All right, let's do this. We're going to move the whole family. And I think normally they would wait and they would have, let's see, hmm, I don't want to move them too far. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes. All right. And we'll have one more baby right here. And then let me dig up some roots. So normally they would send the boys into the jungle, but I think the queen wants to go on an adventure with them and send everybody to this new land. And then we'll try to gain our bearing there, kind of starting fresh with our little Amazon jungle challenge. I've really enjoyed the drama of how they have survived so far. And I don't want to ease up the challenge on them just to make them survive, but let's see what we can do. Dang it. But at the same time, here's Kirinu getting totally and completely attacked. And he dropped a bunch of nuts on that ape's head and, and is still running. And here's Zenka. And the best she can do is kind of run to the edges here. Where we have little Nukir also struggling to survive. So they're like clawing their way through the vicious jungle. And over here, <gasps> another little girl, finally. Oh, I'm so relieved. Please tell me she's not blind. All of our children look blind. But yeah, look at that. She has normal eyesight. She just looks blind with her toxic body. That's so interesting. And we're actually going to name her. Let's see. There's a whole bit, a bunch of really cool female names you guys have given me. Let's go with uh, Saru. That's a really pretty one. It's said to mean brave or or pretty, which I think is very true. She's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green color with some awesome ram horns. And I think that, yeah, Queen Mela wants to move the tribe. She understands these jungles just seem to become more dangerous and she can't keep her boys controlled very long. As we've seen in the past, the young males will get quite restless as time goes on. And the, the strength of the Amazon tribe needs to be reunite, like reignited, but that may not be able to happen here. So let's start scooching the whole family along. All right. Oh, and the sick baby, I do need to drop him off to eat that, that little fruit, though. So we'll have to see if I can pull that off. All right. And the queen, I don't want her to move too far from her, her consort or her children, actually. Hmm. So I'm going to have him move back over here, and she's going to jump over here. And let's pick these berries really quickly. So we have a little bit of food for the journey because we're starting to get low on food. There we go. And yeah, we'll, we'll get to the new island and we'll regroup there and figure out what to do. Alright, so woo! Oh no! Why did you have to go and get everybody sick, Yuri? Why? Alright, I'm gonna make him jump down here. And then let's see, let's get Meteor. That's a lot of food on that mole, actually. Saru! No, don't be sick, Saru! Ah, oh, dang it! We have another boy boy boy! Oh no, and I think that, actually... Do you guys? Oh no, they do have doubled up immunity. Oh no, I think I think I know what we need to do. We're gonna have to leave those ones. All right, and here's some good bunnies to be able to eat. Oh no, I shouldn't have left that guy near. Ah, all right, things are getting a little chaotic. Breathe, Siri. We've got this. We're gonna focus on the new island. Focus on getting to the new island, and especially with Fusu because she's now like the surviving princess of this tribe. And then we'll figure out the rest from there. Uh, Saru has gotten sick, but if we can keep an eye on her, she should get better. So let's have Kuta come over. He can gather up the food, and he can gather up this nest. And I just left her totally unsupervised. We'll gather up this food as well. And I think Queen Mirla is mostly focusing on getting Fusu over to the open area now. Speaking of the open area, it looks like Nukir is being chased down by that ape as well, but he has just barely managed to break through the jungle, 
push the grasses aside and proclaim that the danger that they have feared is coming and it is time to leave this island and figure out what it means to be the Amazon Challenge Tribe or just what it means to be the Tai Li tribe in the new lands where we're running for our survival. So, oh dear. Oh boy. Oh boy, everybody's sick. All right, and I think we know that I need to leave little Yuri here. And Meteor could get better. Uh, however, Saru is going to need to have priority for that, for sure. So I'm gonna get her down here, and then we're gonna have Kuta jump over hopefully to reach his mate soon. I don't want the queen to get sick. Let's see. And there's a predator coming too. I just heard him. All right. And we'll clear this away. Fushu will send all the way over here. And we'll send her brother Rufus to kind of help guard and protect her. There we go. Queen Mirna, let's get you up here. And oh no, Kuta, you're not allowed to die, Kuta. I need you. I think Mirla would be so upset at the, the idea of her mate dying. So we're going to go ahead and let her have another baby. Yeah, I think that right now is just the desperate, like, fleeing of the island. And then we'll regroup when we hit the next island and figure out what it means to be the Amazon tribe. Meteor, can I cure you somehow? Is there a plant? Because I know that we're a little bit kerfuffled. Uh, do I have somebody over here? I do! Oh! Kiru! Kiru! Now's not really the time for fishing, but I mean, why not, I guess? All right, uh, let's see. And Kutaro, doubled up immunity. I think that his father would gently push him this way. And then let's see, Meteor could possibly be cured. He might, out, he might outlast his cold, but we'll have to see. It seems like we might be sending the tiniest branch of the Amazon tribe onto the next island after all. Please be a little girl. It is a little girl, thank goodness. Oh no! And this cold has this cold has taken some of the best of our best from us. Why? Oh, Kutaro, we're gonna send you back here. Oh no. All right, let's see. And we'll gather up this meteor. I think that means that you're gonna have to stay, unfortunately, um, because you are sick as well. Vintair is not sick, so he can go. All right. Yeah, we're gonna flee the island and then I'm gonna have to just sit and think about what I want from my Amazon tribe. I think I still want like the classic sort of Amazon idea that we were going for, but I definitely am not going to be able to make it happen on this island the way we were. So I think having a fresh start would really, really, really help us out. So that's what that's my biggest goal. That's what we're gonna work on now. All right, and we're gonna let uh, Kiranu bravely fight in the jungle to try to figure out if he can survive long enough to distract the ape for the others to flee. All right, and we have Aname, beautiful little one. I feel like, yeah, we have Saru starting to, to rush over as well. So we have like the green sisters from the jungle. That sounds like a great little one. We're gonna name this little one uh, Oka. So come here, Oka. Nope, not you, Vintir, your sister, Oka. There we go. So we have Oka, Saru, and Fusu, and they are the three young sisters who are going to be coming from this jungle, from the collapsed Amazon tribe, and they're gonna have to figure out how they're going to run their own tribe back home. Maybe they won't send off all, or in their new home, they might not send off all of the males the way that their family did, because clearly that has kind of contributed to dispelling their doom. And we're gonna have the queen be very protective of her last daughter and try to pull her towards the escape route. There we go, come on little ones. Come on, Saru. And then the queen will push her baby forward and stay with her child. And then little Nuke here, I think is about to expire of his, of his injuries, unfortunately. And Meteor, Kutaru, and Yuri got left behind because they carried the illness and the illness actually took out the royal consort, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll get to the new island and then we'll see what the three green sisters who have come from my attempt at the challenge will do. And we might change up the Amazon challenge. We may not follow it quite as we had been doing. Oh, and I hear predators lurking at the edges. Yep, sure enough, and a Dodomingo. It has been so long since we have seen a Dodomingo. All right, we'll push Oka onto the path and then maybe oh yay now we've got a little bit of there we go a little bit of that to eat and now we're just waiting for saru 
to jump onto the path and then we are going to we're going to just totally run for it all right i don't think anybody can do anything else over here but we do have our three sisters and we have two of their brothers being the only surviving members of our attempt at this Amazon challenge. And we may shift it from the Amazon challenge to the Tylee, or we may do a proper Amazon challenge with the three sisters ruling over their tribe together and their brothers, as usual, disappearing into not the edge of the island, but into the wilds to occasionally be seen again with the sisters having to defend the food and maybe pick out a few of the slaves that they can make of the, the unsuitable males or the the disgraced females so we'll figure it out we might bring back the the twist to the amazon challenge we just have to survive long enough to do so all right onward there you go saru let's get out of here all right rufus lead the way wait let's get some food first some food for the trip and then we're gonna we're gonna leave the new island and we're gonna have the very awkward thoughts i think that I think that there would be a lot of confliction, especially leaving behind the only yellow male who looks so much like his father. It's going to be so sad. Goodbye, Kuta's child. Goodbye. We're leaving behind a few of the children, but I think that Queen Mirla understands, even though she's very sad about it, to leave the home of her ancestors. And she's wondering if she's making the biggest mistake ever, but she must help her children and the last surviving Amazon tribe members survive. So let's get out of here. Kind of cool how we've ended up with three green sisters to try to revive the tribe, though. So hopefully this next chapter of their adventures will allow us to really settle into the idea of the Amazon Jungle Challenge. And we might be able to figure out where their story is going to go from here. It definitely didn't go where I thought it would because my rules kept having to adapt kind of like our nichelings needed to adapt to what we faced and what just wasn't practical to keep as a challenge. But here we are in a huge brand new land <laughs> and another jungle that we can travel to so we may actually end up just moving straight to that new jungle since i do want to try to keep it a jungle challenge but we might allow uh, we might allow the little ones to spend the rest of queen mirla's life kind of walking along the edges and working our way there and seeing what surprises might await us in these rippling grasses so if our tribe will end here, if the Amazon challenge will be able to be led by these three Amazon sisters bringing it back, uh, or if we're, we're gonna learn that I made way too many rules and we just were not able to adapt enough to survive, we're gonna find all that out next time. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.